Okay, uh, so how do we assign that to a class? Now that's complete, you go to Actions, and you go to Assign. Now, you then click New Assignment, and you could assign it to a class. Now, this is one of my classes, um, 10x RM1. I just go to um, move that over to there. That's now assigned to the class effectively. I don't want it to assign it to them, so I'll get rid of that. Um, what I want to assign it to is a, a test student. So you go to all contacts, uh, go down to test or T for test. Uh, then you scroll through until you see test student and we're assigned to that one mythical student. Um, always worth giving it an uh, issue date, uh, sorry, the issue date is generally automatic, um, but if you want to set it in the future, um, so you want to get ahead of yourself, imagine such a thing, and you want to assign it to the class, but they don't want it to be visible yet until next week, you can say right uh, from the 16th, the, the student will be able to see this homework and not before. It's due in, because I'm feeling mean, uh, the very next day. Um, that helps, um, it gets colour coded so the student can see that it's um, what's active and what's um, what's owing as well, what's overdue. Uh, and that will do. Uh, and that has been assigned um, in a week's time. When you want to assign it again, just go through the process, assign and you assign it to a new class. And that will live there forever. That's what we did there. Okay, uh, what's worth doing now is having a look to see what the student sees. So we log out. Okay, we're now going to log in and see what the student says, what the student sees. So um, it's student test, and the password is frog, and we're going to sign in. Okay, so what our test student sees uh, is here. This is what a typical student would see. Uh, go to classroom. Uh, they would go to classroom and then set work. And that is the work that has been set to them, not particularly intuitive. So you'll need to make that clear to your class um, in the early days at least. Um, then you'd be able to <coughs> search. So if they're looking for subjects, uh, for everything that's been set to them from art, uh, clicking here filters it so you can just search through and um, it groups the lessons together equally you can search for when it was issued now I've just thought um, I've set mine trying to be clever in the future so um, that's not really visible to the student yet um, so okay so that's not go to issue date but to subjects let's see um, what this one would look like there we go. So the student would just be able to see this, which is exactly the same view um, you, you would see if you just double clicked it um, when you're looking under your own kind of resource areas. Um, you are able to ask for things, um, ask them to hand in. Um, I'm not covering that at the moment. I'm just saying um, that is what you've got to do, and you've got to literally hand it in to me. But you can get them to submit things electronically. Uh, but that will be for another uh, another video or another bit of a, another inset. So we've now assigned that lesson. What's very important to do is unassign it. Um, as you can see, this student has got lots and lots of work, and the ones that are out of date go red. But it gets more and more difficult uh, as time will go by for an individual student to sort through all of these when everyone starts using it. So it would be a good idea to have a tidy up every now and then or get organised and delete things that you've set. So um, to do that, we're going to log out and we're going to log back in again under your own username. Okay, so you'd go to um, classroom and not subjects this time, but you'd go to set work and you'd see here everything that you've set. You can see the things that are um, out of date, for example, uh, and you can see the ones that are still active. 
this one uh, we've just created I want to uh, delete it so uh, you go to delete assignment and it gives you this horrible terrifying message are you sure to permanently delete this assignment this will delete all records marks evidence etc associated with this assignment uh, it does not uh, it just unassigns it from the student that you've uh, that you last assigned it to and it can appear in number places down here if you send it to different classes in different dates it will appear in other places so click OK it uh, warns you again it cannot be retrieved it says capital letters ignore it uh, has been permanently deleted uh, it has not if you went to um, classroom subjects where it was originally stored in my case um, buried deep just to reassure everybody that is where I created it, it is still there uh, and the student doesn't have to look at that anymore okay so just to refresh that uh, got to the end of this video we've now unassigned a lesson it's well worth just practicing a few of those uh, practice uh, this a few times um, setting it to test students uh, login as a student test and frog and uh, just just have a little play